the, the way to explain that is I'm a library person. I had no money when I graduated from high school, so I couldn't afford to go to college, which is just as well, because colleges are not a place to learn how to write short stories or novels. It's the wrong element. Occasionally, you can find a professor there who is in truly love in, of literature, but there's a danger of teachers of writing to interfere with your taste and your needs and your loves. So I didn't make it to college. I got a job selling newspapers on the street corner. I made $10 a week. And three nights a week, I went to the library. And that's where I learned how to write. I loved reading books, sitting in the middle of the library with the vibrations of the great authors impinging on me. And I got to know Charles Dickens very well there. And, and the great writers of history I fell in love with. So when I heard about Hitler burning the books in the streets of Berlin, it bothered me terribly. I was 15 when that happened. I was already in love with libraries. So he was burning me when he did that. And I heard the, Rus the Russians doing that secretly. They didn't do it in the streets, but they burned books and they burned authors, which was even worse. And I heard about the burning of the books in Alexandria, Egypt, 5,000 years ago. So you see, the reason I wrote Fahrenheit is because I'm a library person. And I'm in danger, I thought, of someday writing something that people might not like and they might burn. So it was only natural at the age of, of 26 that I sat down and wrote Fahrenheit 451. And thank God that I did. <laughs>